Welcome. Today we'll be making a steak and mushroom pie with Cull County. I'm Chef Anthony, and you're watching Publix Aprons Cooking School Online. So before we begin, you want to preheat a large saute pan over medium heat. Then we're going to take our salted butter and add it to that pan and just let it melt. If it browns a little bit, that's okay. You can lower the heat or you can let it toast and it'll give it a really nice nutty flavor. So I'm just going to swirl this around and let it melt evenly. And we want to let it heat until the foam subsides. So once your butter's melted, we're going to start adding our vegetables. So I have some diced onion, sliced carrots. We're going to add some minced rosemary, thyme, and sage. We're going to stir that around. And then once I have that all stirred together, I'm going to put in a little bit of garlic paste. and stir that. So this is going to cook over medium heat for about four to five minutes. And we just want to bring out the flavor of all the ingredients in the pan and soften them up. We're not looking to caramelize anything. We just want to bring out their full flavors. So once our vegetables soften up, we're going to build our roux. So first thing we're going to do is sprinkle in some all purpose flour. And this is going to help thicken up the gravy for our steak and mushroom pie. So when you add it, you want to cook it until you get a really nice baked bread or cooked flour aroma. And this will take about one to two minutes to get that flour cooked. So once you have your roux made, we're going to add some stout. Now it's really important not to add it all at once or you'll have clumps of roux in your sauce. So we're going to just put a little bit and you'll see, it'll start taking on the consistency of wet sand. And once you smooth that out, then you can pour in a little bit more. And I'm going to do this in three increments so I know that I don't have any lumps of flour floating around in the pan. You could see that it's really nice and smooth, almost a paste consistency. So now I can add the remainder of my stout once I have this really nice and smooth, and I see that all of the stout has been incorporated, I'm gonna pour in some bone broth. And we're going to stir that. Now in order to activate the roux and bring it to its full thickening ability, you do have to bring this to a boil for about one to two minutes until that roux is fully thickened. Now that our gravy has come to a boil, pull it off the heat. Now I'm gonna grab the rest of my ingredients. I'll be right back. So now we're going to finish this steak and mushroom pie. So I'm going to take my portobello mushrooms and we're going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Try to keep them about the same size as the beef so we have a nice uniform bite throughout the pie. Now we're ready to finish our pie. So we're going to stir our beef into the gravy. Get that nice and coated. Once that's incorporated, we are going to add our portobello mushrooms, our seasoned salt, and some black pepper. Give that a good stir. Get everything coated with that gravy. Now we're using a nice cut of sirloin steak here. As it bakes in the oven, all the juices, all those great hearty flavors are gonna come out into the gravy. So now we're ready to build our pie. So we're gonna start with a nine inch baking dish on a parchment lined baking sheet. It's really important to put an underliner under the pie dish just to prevent any drippings from ending up on the bottom of your oven. We'll take our filling we're just going to put it right into the dish. There's no need for a bottom pie crust 
because we want to keep this nice and rustic. So now I'm going to level it off and we're ready to top it with our pie crust. So there are two pie crusts in this box and you could save the other crust for another dish. We're going to unroll it right over our filling. See, it's that easy. You don't want to get really fancy with this, so we're just going to push the crust right down around the filling. No need to get fancy and do any crimping. And it's really important to make some slits on top for venting. And this will allow some steam to escape as it's baking. And now I'm going to transfer it to my preheated 400 degree oven. So while our pie is baking, we're going to start our coal cannon. Now, coal cannon is a traditional Irish dish made of mashed potatoes, kale, or cabbage. So first thing we need to do is start off with cold water, and we're going to season our water with some salt. Then we're going to add our potatoes, about a pound and a half for this recipe, and we're going to turn it up to high, put the lid on, and bring it to a boil. We're going to let it do its thing. So it looks like our potatoes are about done. We're going to carefully remove the lid and remove our potatoes from the boiling water. Set them aside to let them cool. Now I like to cook the potatoes with the skin on because that retains the starch and a lot of flavor in those potatoes. But while those are steaming and cooling down, we're going to prepare our kale. So I like to remove the coarse part of the stem and just keep the leaves. As the stem goes up to the top of the leaf, it becomes a little bit more tender. So once all the stems are removed, you can discard the stems. And now we're going to give this a real nice rough chop. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now once chopped, we're going to add this to our boiling water and blanch it for about four minutes. It's gonna bring out some flavor and make it a really nice bright green. So it looks like our kale is just about ready. Now we're gonna strain that. And look at that, it's really nice and bright green, and I can tell it's tender. So now I'm gonna set this aside, and while that's cooling, I'm gonna drain this water and get the rest of my ingredients. So now we're ready to finish our cold cannon. So first, we're going to take a half a cup of milk, salted butter, and some black pepper. Now I'm going to put this in the microwave for about a minute just to melt the butter. We're going to start peeling our potatoes. And they're still a little warm, so be careful. And we're just going to peel the skin off. Because this is a rustic dish, it's OK if some of the skin stays on the potato while you're mashing it. So now that our potatoes are peeled, we're going to place them in the pot. So now I'll begin to mash the potatoes. So you want to get it started, and then we're going to incorporate our melted butter, milk, and black pepper. So I'm going to pour a little bit in and start mashing. And it's OK if these stay nice and coarse. Um, it doesn't have to be a creamy mashed potato. I'm going to add the rest of my seasoning. Now we're ready to add our kale. We'll stir that kale in there, incorporate it into the potatoes. And because we blanched this perfectly, the kale is still going to have a little bit of texture and crunch. So our cold cannon looks perfect. And it's ready to go. And just in time to get our pie out of the oven. So our steak pie is done and ready to serve. 
So I'm gonna take a little bit of the finished Kolkanen and steak pie. Now be careful, because this is very hot. You may want to let it set for a few minutes before serving. So now let's eat. You could feel that crunch on the kale. You could taste all that creamy butter and milk in the potatoes, and it's seasoned perfectly. Now let's go over to the steak and mushroom pie. Make sure you get a little bit of everything on that fork. Mmm. That's delicious. So remember, that steak went into the pie raw, but it cooked perfectly and evenly, and it's so tender, and all the flavor from that beef is now in the gravy. I can taste hints of sweetness from the carrots and the onions, and then that buttery crust on top just brings it all together. This is how easy it is to create an authentic Irish dish in your own kitchen. Click the link below for this full recipe and exact measurements. Subscribe for more Publix Aprons Cooking School online videos and other content from Publix. Happy cooking!